So a lot of you have been following me watching my series on Bridgerton. I was watching the show Bridgerton like most of you have and I was inspired to make a lot of um, DIY pieces from it. And today I'm gonna focus on a flower arrangement centerpiece for any table. And it's pretty simple. So um, what we'll start with is the candlestick. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They're fairly common, so most Dollar Trees you can find them individually, but if you go online, they do have a minimum purchase order that you can get them in lots. Uh, we also have this simple plastic bowl or acrylic bowl that you can also get from Dollar Tree. And I got some foam that I'll stick my flowers in that I got from the Dollar Tree, as well as some metallic um, spray paint. So. I chose this because I feel like it's more um, in line with the Regency period, but I also chose some metallic rose gold, which also fits to make it more of like a bronze color. Either one works, choose what you like, but let's get started. We'll go outside first and spray paint them. So now that we have everything spray painted gold, we're gonna um, put these together. You can either use the E6000 glue, clear, um, or my favorite is actually the Gorilla Clear Grip. Um, they both work just fine, but I feel like the Gorilla glue goes faster. So what I'm gonna do is just put some glue around this edge. Make sure you have a good amount on there. And then we're gonna put this bowl right on top. Center it a little. And there we go for now. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take our foam and put it inside of the plate. I'm actually gonna glue it to the bottom of here sideways. So I'll put some more adhesive at the bottom of here. And we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes to an hour. For it to be fully dried, it should really sit overnight for 24 hours. So I picked up these really pretty silk flowers on Amazon, um, but you can get them anywhere or you can use fresh flowers, which would be even better. But I'm just, I'm not a floral designer, but I'm gonna try to do my best to make it look pretty in here. Now that we've clipped all of our flowers, we're gonna arrange them and I decided to put kind of the white ones at the bottom all the way around. Try to be as symmetrical as you can. It's the only tip I have. Other than that, I don't really know much about arranging flowers. I just know what looks good. Just gonna make sure it's nice and full. There's not a lot of spaces in between. All right, isn't that pretty already? Looks nice. We'll do this. And now that we have them pretty full all the way around, I'm gonna add these really pretty big flowers to be towards the middle. And then what we're gonna do is add some filler, just to make it pretty. Again, if we put one on that side, we're gonna try to do it symmetrical and put it on the other. Just to fill in any space that was kind of left empty. Let me see. All right, isn't that pretty? So there we have our Regency style centerpiece with flowers. And all together I would say this cost a dollar, this was a dollar, the foam inside was a dollar. The flowers ranged in price and you can get them as affordable or as expensive as you'd like. And if you use fresh flowers, of course they cost a little bit more. But I would say in all, this piece is probably less than eight dollars. And you can put as many flowers as you want, but this one's pretty full as it is. So there we go. All 
Okay, and just in case you would like to have a taller version of this, I'm gonna show you how to do it taller. So we'll start out with these spray painted candlesticks again. And we're gonna put them together like the taller version of um, the centerpiece that I did at my wedding that you can see on TikTok. So here we go. And here is our tall pedestal flower bowl centerpiece for tables. And if you're sitting, you'll probably be about this, so you can still see people from across the table and talk. So this is a really nice piece um, that you can also do. So you can do it shorter or taller.